Hi everyone, it's Hannah Schooner or Schooner or Later, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a map from scratch on Roll20 and all the tools that are available to you. Thank you. Okay guys, so you're going to want to open Roll20 again. We're going to go into my game scheduled new game just made for this tutorial. We're going to click launch. It may take a little bit to load, um, but it shouldn't take more than 20 seconds. If it does, just refresh the page. In the bottom left, you'll be able to see your icon that shows that you are in the game. And we'll create a new page for the purposes of this. All right, we're gonna zoom out a little bit so we have more of a canvas. We're gonna go to the um, map and background layer and click on the paintbrush. First, we're gonna draw a shape. By default, um, you'll be able to draw a rectangle the color on the left will be your outline and the color on the right will be the filler. So automatically it'll just draw a rectangle with that outline and inside color. If you would like a circle, just hold Alt while you drag. It'll make a circle, the same outline and filler. Um, if you go back to that and click on Freehand, you'll be able to draw a line, but because it is still set on um, a filler color. If you do a squiggle line, then it'll kind of, you know, fill in the um, space between the lines. I'm just drawing random shapes to show you that. <laughs> um, so if you don't want that, then you'll just want to either go to polygon line where you can click and connect lines together. It might be a little little clunky. Um, again, if you still have the filler color, then it'll fill in the space between the lines. So if you don't want that, um, just take out that filler color, click transparent, and then you'll be able to draw squiggle lines to your content to make paths or something like that. Um, or um, another kind of connect the dots situation. So let's make a map. We'll make a new page, click on it. I'm just gonna make like a forest map, like something you would see, um, a region map if you would. So we'll go ahead and make a bigger green rectangle. We'll go ahead and let's make um, a lake. So we'll click blue for the outline. We can make a regular, a lighter blue for the filler. We're gonna make a circle, hold alt there for that in the corner. Go ahead and drag it. And then in order to change the place where it is, I go in the upper left, click on the arrow, and click select and move it and I can adjust the size. If you do not click the arrow before you do this, then you'll just end up drawing another circle on top of it and we don't really want that. Next, I'm gonna use the drawing tool with no filler to make like a river situation across the map. Um, and maybe even use some text to title our map. We'll just go ahead and we'll stick with black for now. Maybe forest lake. Not very creative, but I'm sure we could think of something another time. Um, let's see if we can add some trees. We'll go to our, our picture token assets line like we did in the previous tutorial find this tree. Um, remember, go to the arrow in order to move them around. You can just honestly control C, control V to make a bunch of trees. Just fill it in here, make it look more regional. You can of course make these trees as small or as big as you want. Um, I just want them a little all over the place. Whoops, sorry about that. We'll just fill up our little page here, there are some trees. Now if you don't want to draw like a squiggle kind of river, you can also go back to the drawing tool and use polygon line and do a similar thing where you connect the dots like that. It'll just be a little more like harsh edged and not so smooth. So that's a personal preference depending on what kind of a look you want your map to have that is available to you as well um, and that's all on the map layer so 
if you want to add other things to your map, you can go to the tokens layer. Maybe let's let's see. Let's look up um a bird. We'll we'll add a bird. So we can search it in um bird. And of course, there'll be the premium options from roll 20, but there's also the free options from the web. Let's see. This falcon looks nice. We'll drag it and drop it in. Again, I forgot to go to the arrow, so I almost drew another line, but just make sure you're on the tokens page and with the arrow, and you can make it as big or as small as you like. And um, here we have a nice regional little map. If you want to add, you know, hit points or something or other to this, or even make it part of the map layer so it can't be moved, you can do that as well. Um, thank you so much. I hope you found this video helpful and that you feel you have the tools necessary to make your own maps. Thank you.